Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be watching one of my old videos from my really old channel that um, are horse videos. We are going to be watching Cowgirls and Bandits. It's kind of the direction that um, I wanted to go in and that I'm now um, doing with my other videos like the Cowgirl video and the Patriot video. Except in this one, I had multiple people helping me. I must warn you, these are old and possibly cringy. I look like a little baby and I also did not know as much as I know today as far as horseback riding skills and so on and so forth. This was probably at least eight or nine years ago. So let's keep that in mind while we're watching. Trust me, I will comment on all of it. So let's get into the video. Okay, first thing I want to comment on is this song. Uh, my dad worked with a bunch of people um, in one of his businesses where there was actually this couple and they wrote a bunch of music. They never like went anywhere with it, but they recorded it in their home and then they gave my dad a CD. Um, it it's really great and so I was able to use it with these videos back then but um that's the explanation for the music it's also like the genre is just crazy they like speak sometimes some of their music is just random gibberish language that they made up so yeah that's an explanation for the music as far as the first scene this is Amberly who was Rio's first owner and a friend of mine, a horse friend of mine, and we all used to ride together. So this was a long time ago. seeing the third member of our little trio and that is Lydia um, yeah so we were trying to do the whole cowgirls and bandits thing and um, basically the theft was the camera case that I hung up on the tripod because I wasn't really sure what else to do? Such great planning back then, as you can see. Huh. And there's me, jumping over a fallen log, not really knowing how to jump correctly, um, with Buddy who back then was in much better shape with no helmet. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I did. I was very inexperienced in a Western saddle too. Yeah, that was, that was great. But you know, back then it was like, we were really brave just to let y'all know. <laughs> explanation for this scene um yeah so you know how you can ground tie a horse for some reason back then I just I thought maybe if I drop his reins he'll just stand there yeah I was wrong and the only reason he stopped was because he stepped on them yeah great move right well he is also in a hackamore in this. This is when we were experimenting with what he best responded to. So he wasn't having to deal with like pulling on his own mouth, but it could have ended very badly. We are very lucky that it did not. And also my horse trainer at the time watched this YouTube video and she made sure to let me have it about this part. Don't you worry. <laughs> picture of 
the three of the horses standing there perfectly with all of our cowboy hats on their heads. That was a feat in itself, let me tell you. Um, I believe like right after the picture was taken, somebody just kind of, whoop, hat was gone. Um, yeah, it was just for that one second to get that picture that they all were standing perfectly still with their hats on. It was a miracle. Anyway, so that's the end of the video. Um, it wasn't too terribly long, but um, it was a lot of fun making. Um, the three of us used to have a lot of fun together. We did all kinds of crazy stuff. Some stuff I'm proud of, some stuff I am I cringe about now. Just thinking about it. <laughs> but you know, you all learned somewhere and I think it was a great um, opportunity for me to learn to be brave around horses because I think we tend to get fearful when we're in the beginning stages and will not be willing to try new things. And I'm not saying be reckless by any means, but um, the bravery that I ended up experiencing back then has um, really helped me a lot later on with horses in being able to handle myself. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget, be brave. Be brave. See you later, guys.